Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video, we will discuss about data loss prevention policy simulation mode in Microsoft Purview. So, when you uh, create a policy, you have an option to test the policy settings or you want to test and create your DLP policy, right? So, DLP policies can potentially impact every user in the organization. You make sure that you test the policy, evaluate how it will perform prior to enabling it. Okay, so let me show you the portal here. So when you are at this step on the policy mode, it says run the policy in test mode, turn the policy on immediately, which have the, it will take an hour for it to take effect, leave the policy turned off, decide to test or activate the policy later. And if you run the policy in test mode, you will be able to review alerts to access the policy's impact. Any restriction you configured won't be enforced. If you read more about it, it says when you run the policy in simulation mode, otherwise known as the simulation mode for Microsoft Purview DLP policies, it will replace the test and test with the policy tip. So there was uh, one, one option before, which is to test or turn on the policy or tips or the states. So when, it's, when a policy is in simulation mode, it's run as if it were being enforced without any actual enforcement, unlike the test modes. So all matched items and alerts are reported in a separate dashboard. This makes it easy to see the impact of the policy before you enforce it. By keeping it, all the simulation results separate from the results of the policies that are being enforced in your tenant. Okay, so if you're not an E5 customer, use the 90 day solution style to explore how additional purview capabilities can help your organization. So the simulation mode will provide an isolated experience to run and assess the policies, a summary dashboard that gives you the visibility into the impact of the policies, a flat list of matched items at a policy level. Okay, so if, if I go here and say run it in a test mode show policy tips while in simulation mode you click on next and you review the settings I, i've just used the default one you click on submit you can anytime come and edit this policy you can enforce it after it has been run in a simulation mode let's see how much time it takes I've submitted it, it will take, it is still stuck on submitting. Okay, new policy created, data loss prevention policy has been created, monitor alerts, review policy matches. You are protecting this sensitive data, now make sure it's deleted when no longer relevant to your organization. Okay, it says removing unnecessary or obsolete data can reduce your risk during a security incident. Okay. So it's also suggesting that use auto labeling policies in the data lifecycle management to help minimize your attack surface. Some of the related tasks. You click on done, you would see your policy here and you can anytime click on it and look at the settings that you configured. Make sure that the this policy is running in the simulation mode, not impacting your environment. So every time you create a policy, make sure that you run the policy in the simulation mode. All right. I hope this video was informative for all of you guys. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.